Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and today I am doing another soap with my mold that was very, very successful when I did my cat's pajamas. Um, this is not the same design. This one is like a diamond pattern. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be the same concept. Just, um, yeah, same concept, just different mold um, pattern, if I can say. Because these are fondant molds or you know what matter of fact it's an impression mat let me show you right now because I got questioned a lot about where I got these from and what they are they are impression mats and they came from um, Hobby Lobby if you guys have one near you that's what these are so I'm gonna attempt that again just because it was very very successful and I really did like the way it looked and I did make the cat's pajamas again that should be coming soon the design is a little bit different and I kind of got a hold on what makes these actually stick to the side of soap hopefully I'll have the same look today so the colors that I am using are going to be um, aquamarine dream a mica by rustic essential I absolutely love this mica that's the color of it um, I'm going to use some sea salt as you can tell I've already colored it and then the fragrance is going to be jasmine I get questioned a lot I get questioned no, I don't I get asked for um, should I say asked for jasmine soap a lot I've never made a jasmine soap um, hopefully this fragrance plays nicely so we're just going to cross our fingers and then I'm going to put some jasmine butts on top as well with the salt I'm still undecided if I'm going to do gold. I think I want to do a gold swirl. My hope, my first idea was a white base with the till diamond powder on the outside. Well, aqua. And um, just a, like a white base with the, you know, till salt and, I keep saying till, aqua salt and the jasmine flowers. Then I was like, well, maybe I should put some gold throughout the white. I don't know. We'll see. As we go along, we'll figure out what works. Hopefully, like I said, this jasmine works because floral do have a tendency to thicken up on trace. All right, so um, let's get started. I'm not going to um, fragrance whatever little bit of jasmine was in here. That's fine. Um, but I'm not going to put any more fragrance in my gold just because I want my gold to stay gold. And this gold is Gleaming Gold from TKB Trading. I'm going to put a nice healthy amount and I probably shouldn't have used this one so I think this one is more of a like a kind of like a eh, it's kind of hard to explain what I mean but anyway I probably should have used this so let's just go with that but that's okay so now take this same stick and I'll mix this in really well Okay, now I'm going to add um, TD for my white. I'm going to hand stir it first because I want to um, agitate this as less as possible or least as possible. And you really can't hand. Okay, I can't get this open. <laughs> you really can't hand stir in um, TD. It just doesn't show its true whiteness. So I'm just going to hand stir it first. And then I will um, stick blend it just a little bit. Alright, so I've been working on this way longer than I should have, and I need to get moving. As you can see, this is quite messy, and um, with me doing it like live, instead of letting this wait for a couple of days, uh, then you end up with this mess that you can't clean up, but I just, I'm going to improvise. So, this just really popped in my head right before I turned the camera back on. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to go with it, just because... I don't have time to sit here and try to clean up that teal or aqua that's um, that's uh, on the parts that I don't want it on. So, so we'll see. And then I've sat and mucked around with this a little too long. So now um, I'm not going to put too much because I don't want it to separate. Uh, 
what was I saying? I forget. I'm kind of panicked because <laughs> I, I did. I messed around with this a little longer than I should have. Um, where is my bulb thingy? Okay. Make sure I don't have too much and try to get that scattered on the spot so I don't have any. So hopefully this is going to be amazing or it's going to be a disaster. It's one of the two. I don't think there's going to be. Ah, it's just okay. <laughs> okay, so now that I got that done and you guys probably got gold flying all up in your faces. Sorry about that. So I'm going to take a little bit of cold oil and spread it on the inside of my mold. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. And that way I'll get my... Um, the mold to stick to the inside of this mold and then I'll clean up this mess oh and I cut these just a wee bit taller than they need to be but uh I did it for a reason so so I'm gonna go ahead and get that down in there gotta, probably gonna have to put a little bit more Yep, this is a messy soap. <laughs> but I got a good feeling about it. Why? I don't know. Is of right now it like it's gonna be a disaster, but I kinda got a good feeling. So we're gonna run with that because everything has thickened up, so I don't know why I got a good feeling. Look at that. That's crazy times. And then what's crazy is this doesn't even have any fragrance in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna make it work. That's what I'm gonna do. This is now this is one with the fragrance in it, oddly enough. So I need to put a little bit more on this side so it'll decide it want to stick. Okay, so go ahead and scrape around these sides. That is absolutely crazy that this gold is misbehaving. So what I'm gonna do for that is just add a wee bit of water. Just a little, just to kind of loosen things up. I think that's enough. You guys probably didn't even see me, but it was literally like a splash. So this is going to be kind of like a, a slam dance type thing. And this is, I feel like going to end up looking like my bee's knees. <laughs> so. I'm actually not going to use all this gold just because I feel like it's going to be too much. And then I decided at last minute I'm going to add this in. It's very little, but it might add a little bit of interest. I don't know what kind of interest, but it just might. You never know. So, yep, this is not your typical, whoops, in the pot. None of them that I ever do really is. So, that's just the... Okay, I can't seem to hold on to anything. That's number one. <laughs> but these little bowls are kind of hard to hold on to. So let's get that over there. And then I noticed my bowl had a crack in it. I'm like, that's fun times. So um, just because that goal is thicker, I don't want any thick plops. So come on. Like when it suctions down to the bottom of the bowl. Alright, that's good enough. I think. And if it's not, it's going to have to be. I think I'm on to something here, guys. I know this looks strange, but I feel like I just feel it. I feel like it's going to be great. I just do. Okay, so my towel is disgusting. But the show must go on. And then, you know, let me take my chopstick and just kind of move this around. Yeah, now I feel better about life because I feel like if I didn't do that, it wasn't going to look good. All right, now, I love that this fragrance is just balls. It is just like acting so nice. Okay. Now that I have... Oh, how lovely. That's either going to look good or that's going to look terrible. <laughs> that gold that I kind of sprinkled on the uh, inside of the mold. Now that I don't have much color going on in here, I am going to add a little bit more of this gold. Why the heck not? Yeah. 
you know what? Just use it all. Just use it all. Just, just go with it. Cause um, I don't like to waste. I really don't. No, it's not gonna be wasteful, but this is not scented. So what in the hell of it am I gonna do with it? You know, who wants unscented soap? Some people do, but not a golden. I don't know. Hell, I wasn't gonna waste it. So let's just go with that. Okay. So I'm gonna take this skewer, the skewer of last. <laughs> And then, see, I kind of like the skewer thing because it doesn't overmix. A spatula sometimes will. Ah, this is going to be interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think it's going to have like a tie-dye effect on the outside. Okay, just get on in there. Just get on in there with your brothers and sisters and quit playing. Okay, so now it makes sense why I left this high on the sides because it kind of catches the overflow, you know. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little assistance so I can get this butt in this mold. Alright, and now I'm going to smack this down. So that kind of looks like a Michael line going wrong. <laughs> I don't know. But whatever. We'll see what this is going to look like. Now, if I was to um, do this a day, the day before, then yeah, those lines would have been crisp. But they there's no guarantee that they're going to stick. That's why I didn't do them a day in advance like I did my first uh, cat's pajamas. And I don't want to get too crazy because I don't want this to bow out. Um, oh, I just made a nasty old mess. I got soap thrown everywhere. So... I'm going to get the rest of this on here and then we'll texture it when it's set up enough for me to do something with it. Alright, so I'm going to shut the camera off and bring you guys back when I'm ready to texture this top. Okay, doke, I'm back and um, I don't know how well this has set up but I'm going to take this and just kind of smash it around and then I'll texture the top. I don't want to mess with too much just because it has little streaks of aqua, which I like. I'm kind of glad I left this tall like that. It really does support. And it, it's not bowing. I thought it was going to bow like crazy, but it didn't. So, yay. Hey, Gabriel, can you take this upstairs, please? Thank you. What's that? Oh, no. Yeah. Say hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. <laughs> Yeah, he just came down to see what I'm up to. Yep. Okay, we get that little jiggle just so I can settle into those crevices. Those crevices. Okay. I think that's crevicey enough. Okay. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this again because these molds come in a four pack. But I think I want to do it. Well, I'm not going to tell you what color. You'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to do it again. I almost want to do it again today. But my knee says otherwise. So we're just not going to push it. Okay. So. Now I'm going to take this. It looks cool and kind of not. I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's kind of hard to say. I think it might be cool. But some of this I know I don't like. But um, not much I can do about that. Okay. Stop doing that. All right. Oh, do you not have a spoon, Kenny? Like, seriously. Okay, I can't texture it that way. I'm going to have to do it this way. So, I'm trying to pull most of it this way. Alright, that side is doing what I want it to do. And I'm not concerned about losing some of it. That's fine. So now, maybe I'll take this teeny little spoon right here and see what I can make it do. Okay. I'm liking it. Oops. Okay. Um, but we don't need to pull it away from the side. Okay, so I'll just start right here. And then we're going to put this soft in flour down this side. Now this part, I don't know, it's kind of weird looking. Mm. Maybe I use my smaller skewer. Mm. 
Okay, that's going to have to work, I think. I think. Alrighty. I think I like it. Kind of hard to tell. And leave it alone because sometimes I have a tendency to keep messing with crap and I'm just like, would you please stop, girl? And I'm just like, I can't! <laughs> okay, my intentions was really... To, well, okay, you know what? Things change. Because my intentions was to get the soap to go to one side, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So I'm going to do that. Oh, okay, I wasn't playing. Yeah. We're going to use my fingers. That's what we're going to use. Because I just got more control when I use my fingers. And I don't care about it falling off to the side. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to have till aqua. Aqua, not till. Aqua fingers. Alright, so now. What do I want to do? What? 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 Plop some flowers on this side and then I'll see how I feel about it I mm. feel like this other side is missing something out of life we'll figure it out in a minute I don't care about the flowers falling out I saying just kind of give them a little bit of a pet so they'll stay when I cut it. Just kind of want a lot, you know? Sometimes you just want a lot. Now that I've done that, let me think about what I want to do with this side. We'll clean up first and then we'll think about what we want to do with that side. Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soaper over at Royal Appleberry and just give me a second to grab this soap. So, um, yeah, this soap has been sitting for, I want to say a week. Can't, I can't really pick it up and show it to you all because I know in a couple of videos ago I told you guys that my carpal tunnel was acting up. Well, it's actually gotten worse and my doctor has, um, taken me off of work. Uh, for two weeks, which I'm not really thrilled about, but you know, can't go get your doctor. So, <laughs> um, it's feeling a little bit better today. Normally, I have on my brace. Last, I think, last video you guys saw, I had my brace on. I took it off because it looks quite tacky, <laughs> and I didn't really want to have it on this video. It's not hurting at the moment. Uh, no, I take that back. It is hurting at the moment, but not like it was. So, I needed to come in and cut this soap just because if I don't cut this soap, it's going to be too hard to cut soon enough. So, um, I gotta take a picture for Instagram. <laughs> Let me take a picture for Instagram and I'll be right back before I cut this. I'm gonna start remembering to do that. I always chop them up and I'm like, oh shoot. And of course, I'll put the cut up ones on Instagram as well. So give me a second. Okay, now, um, this soap turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I hope that it is just as gorgeous on the inside. Uh, it's been so long, I don't even remember. Well, poor I did, really. But I'm going to go ahead and sit this on this side. It turned out really nice. It molded nicely, so I'm very, very happy with the way it looked. I thought I wasn't going to like it because I had to um, come up with plan B as I was filling in the lines. But I do like it. That's not enough. Yeah, so I'm going to be stuck at home for two weeks, but I am going to make it count. This is, <laughs> this is gorgeous, guys. <laughs> That's just the first piece. Look how pretty that is. Ah, I love it. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I suppose while I'm at home, I'm going to try my best to make soap. I mean, in hindsight, I really don't need both hands. I could just use one. And I can, I mean, I can hold stuff and I've been doing exercises. I've been put in physical therapy for three days at the week for, for the next four weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today. I still feel it, but you know, 
I'm gonna make it do what it do. So let's get this soap cut. Ah, I'm so excited! And like my last, oh, ouch. My okay, let's let's calm down, Kenny. Let's not get too excited. But my last couple of soaps that I did, I have been like really thrilled with their appearance. So this is one of them. And yeah, I really don't even remember what pour I did. I'm gonna have to watch the making. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. I do love it. And I did have a name for this. Whoop. Um, I think it was called Royalty. I think. No. It was called Majestic. That's the name of it. So I just had to throw it out there before I forget. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think this soap is very majestic looking. My hair is so big, funny story. So, Gabe, um, Gabe knows nothing about women's hair, especially not black women's hair. <laughs> so, um, I can't really put my hair up. I always put my hair up in a bun at night before I sleep, and I can't do it. So, I've been asking him to do it. <laughs> He's been struggling. And so, like, right now, my bun is super huge. It's about as tall as he is. And that's why I keep hitting on the overhead light above me. <laughs> but I appreciate him for trying. He always says, honey, I'm going to try my best, but you know I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I'm not expecting you to style my hair for a ball or something. I just want you to put it in a bun before I go to bed. So, <laughs> this is lovely. Absolutely lovely. And um, also, I got a soap coming up. That's a custom order. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, it's going to be a lot of detail going into this soap. I don't really get into theme soaps. You guys know that. Um, and what I mean by theme soaps are trending. Like the whole unicorn soap. I, I didn't do one for that. And there's no real reason. I just don't. Um... I guess because I feel like sometimes it can be a little bit oversaturated. Uh, everybody's store has them. And I don't know. But anywho. I was asked to make. Um, okay. Before I finish that. I really do love how this uh, turquoise is very, very wispy and thin. That is just beautious. Beautious. Okay. But yeah. I was asked to make <laughs> a mermaid themed soap. And um, I kind of went overboard. <laughs> in my creations well I don't want to say overboard I went all out that's better um I went and ordered some extensive molds and things um I don't care because they're gonna last forever and um I know you guys well at least I hope you guys are gonna like it if it all goes to plan it's gonna be lovely um and I I'm gonna make two I'm gonna make hers and then I'm gonna make one for you all because I know you all are gonna want one so um yeah i didn't care about because one of the mats actually cost me 30 bucks but i'm just like you know what it's gonna last forever so i'll just uh keep it and um one cost 30 one cost 12 plus shipping and then the other one i forget how much it costs but yeah they weren't very cheap but like i said i don't care because i want to make a spectacular did i even tell you the theme i don't remember a mermaid so yeah i think i said it anywho but yeah, um, I want to make it very, very spectacular for her. So, you know what? Ding dong. I'm not even showing you guys the cut sides. Okay, I know you can see it here, but I will. Unless you guys can see it as I pick it up. I know I'm scattered rain over the place, but just bear with me, guys. Be nice. I'm in pain. <laughs> but soap therapy always makes things better. Now, isn't it pretty? Like, really super pretty. So I think this all tied together very, very nicely. I'm very happy with the outcome. Like I said, this soap set in a mold, I think, I let it, it's been longer than a week. Let me take that back. Yeah, it's been longer than a week. I let it sit in the mold for, I think, three days. And then when I pulled the sides off, of course, they came loose because this mat was in between this and the soap. But then the mat, I really didn't even have to take the chocolate uh, impression mat off it just well I don't call it chocolate mat but the impression mat it just kind of fell away on its own so that was great and I know my recipe um, helps it release as well unlike my last recipe with my um, cat's pajamas that's how I lost so many dots 
that gold it's very pretty that's why I know I see some soapers uh, use gold and they actually put fragrance in it and still get a nice gold but for me and my recipe it ended up being like a caramel or a tan color and that's not the look I'm going for oh that's tall okay this soap was almost too tall you see that <laughs> but um it kind of loses its shimmer so that's why I never fragrance my um gold just because I wanted to stay nice and gold and lustrous this is beauteous I love this a lot hope you guys like it as much as I do oh this is pure this is this soap is gorgeous man so I just I don't know I'm in the mood like if I'm not gonna make an extraordinary soap and I'm not saying my other soaps are ugly of course they aren't because of my thoughts so I wouldn't keep making them but I'm gonna try my best and uh, that's the way I'm feeling right now if I'm not gonna make an extraordinary soap then I'm just not gonna make a soap so I'm gonna sit down and really plan and think about how I want my soaps to be and you guys are fucking stellar absolutely fucking stellar I love I love you guys so much I, I can't even explain how much I love you all um and why am I why I'm over here getting emotional I have no clue <laughs> like seriously I got a lump in my throat but thank you so much for all the love you guys gave me on my um oh my god I'm so stupid why am I crying <laughs> on my um beguiling so that soap wasn't even listed for a day and it was sold out so thank you thank you so much <laughs> that's a first for me and I know for a lot of people it's not a first but it is a first for me um my um ooh, got a little blowhole my um Madeline and Love did very very well and so did my cat's pajamas but this is the first soap that like within a couple of hours I had two bars left that was it and then um well it didn't all completely sell out today because I had two bars left and they sold like the next day so just thank you thank you guys for the support and the love of my company I appreciate you all so much I really do I was just kind of blown away and I just spent my whole day when I'm very happy I giggle a lot for those of you who are always here you already know that but um I just spent the whole day just laughing because I just couldn't get it <laughs> it was unbelievable to me how fast that soap sold out so yeah that one definitely will become a regular in my lineup um, and so will Madly and Love I have to remake both of them but thank you you guys are hooking awesome and I hope you guys like this soap just as much as those two because it is it is quite beautiful and I want to give you guys my best you know I want to put all of my imagination and you know whatever I can give you I want you guys to have the best and um one of you, I'm gonna, you know, I am gonna look as soon as I'm done cutting this out. One of you gave me the most stellar review. <laughs> Girl, I need to have you start writing my descriptions for myself. <laughs> the most stellar review. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So, let me show you this. I can't believe I got like super emotional. <laughs> but I that's how much I appreciate you all I can't even explain it any clearer than that I do appreciate each and every one of you who support my small little business because for those of you who have your own so business you know it's it's tough it is tough um I haven't been in business very long so no I'm not like uh I'm not I'm not selling thousands of dollars you know weekly or anything like that nope I am not so let me pull up this comment and I'll I'll read it to you all all right, so I got the comment, and I put this here to give you guys something to look at besides my own cutter. Okay, so the comment is from Raina Langdon. It says, I just got my beguiling soap today. Oh my goodness. Anyone reading this who hasn't ordered yet, you are missing out on holding a bar of decadent luxury in your hand. I absolutely love Madly and Love, but I may just have a new favorite with this one. It smells almost good enough to eat. The soft floral of the geranium notes paired with the heady scent of rose and back with the sweet fruity scent of Macintosh apple is something you would expect in a luxury spa. The touches of dazzling gold mica and rosebuds ornament led this an air of royalty befitting for other brand. You knocked this out the park, Kenny. <laughs> 
Raina, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm getting emotional again. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but just thank you. I appreciate that so much. And girl, you give a most amazing descriptions. Oh, like I said, I need to have you start writing my descriptions of results. But um, I just, I love you guys. Um, thank you so much. And I know this video, by the time you see it, this soap will be in my store. So be on the lookout for it. Today is April 20th. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a waste because I have, I think, four or five soaps in it, in front of it. Yeah, so go to, if you want this soap, head over to my shop. It'll be there. Um, again, thank you. Love you. Love hugs and kisses. Be awesome, amazing, everything you do. And I'll see you guys in the next making video. Bye.